it'll be something I'll do in the middle of everything else I'm going up I won't stop working on Artemis we're good I want to get that on the road for her for sure but as far as taking it across you know the southern states that ain't that ain't gonna happen not yet I it takes me a little bit of time to trust the car I trust my work half the time but I don't trust things going wrong and that's that is a huge car to have problems in uh, so we'd have plenty of room and we'd have a place to put <laughs> we'd have a place to put people that can't make it back to their car or back to the hotel we got plenty of room just throw everybody in there you know be you know Amber's ambulatory service the only thing is, is you're better off dead because neither one of us are, <laughs> you know, it, it would be the the ambulance part to get you somewhere, but, you know, if you can't handle it, you know, it's 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 dual purpose. We can take you straight to the old funeral home if you want. But, uh, no, I apologize. I haven't put a video out, uh, you know, like a real video of working on stuff. I, I just, I felt horrible and I didn't have any business being out in that garage with that heat blowing you don't want to hear that damn thing anyway grouchy and sick to all that did have fun last night though with sierra lewis he was in my hometown of Effingham. guy still got it man i mean everybody knows the political side of it how he feels and you know what's going on with joe rogan and all this crap with that that old man what's his name neil young yeah well you know, uh, anyway, Aaron Lewis was fantastic. I, I hope y'all, if you see him, even if it's not the political way you sway, he don't care. I don't care. Nobody cares, but the guy still got it. What a voice, what a voice, but, uh, anyway, that's the question. It's just a little short video to say, Hey, sorry, I ain't put nothing out gotten a few emails you can email me at irish outlaw garage at gmail.com i'm on uh, facebook you can find me at irish outlaw garage and instagram irish outlaw garage um, i've been watching a lot of videos of what uh, other youtubers are doing and i'm going to try to change myself and maybe learn off of them and take some of it but of course you, do, you obviously know i watch you know people like my script garage and I love flying Sparks Garage too. Emily and her husband are great. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't know. What do you think? Should I take the Javi on a long cruise? It sat for a long time. She's not pretty. I mean, she is, but she's, you know, rust here and there, so I'll probably leave some remnants on my way down the road. But I know she'd make it. I know all my cars will make it. I just, I really want air conditioning on a trip like that, especially down south in the summer. Because I don't know, I'm, I'm obviously in a semi. I used to make trips down to Atlanta in the middle of the summertime. No, not without air conditioning, because it happened to me. I had an air conditioner go out on the semi I was driving down there. And my God, I will be running around in my underwear, no shirt, nothing. I don't care. Y'all just have to live with it because I don't like heat. But I like heat a hell of a lot better than I like this cold shit. Yeah. Look at that. It's snowing now. And this is... This is the uh, south central part of Illinois. And, you know, it, it might as well be the northern tip of Alaska because it gets colder than hell here. I mean, why do I live where the air I breathe hurts my face? I need to move like south, like way south. But I don't know. All my friends are here. All my cars are here. Try to find a place where I can put all my cars. That, <laughs> that probably wouldn't work. But anyway, y'all stay safe. Uh, I'll be getting some more videos out real soon. I apologize. Now let me know. Like and subscribe this. Uh, subscribe to my channel. I'd appreciate it. Like this video. And now give me a 
Give me a comment. What do you think? Should I take the javelin on the road? I've seen a lot of I've seen a lot of videos of power touring. I don't see many AMCs, so she'd probably be a an oddball, like a real oddball. But that's okay. But me and Amber, we like to try to do something like that every year. Just me and her in the car. You know, if I ever find something a little bigger and I want to mess around with, maybe we'll take the kids. But we don't get to do much on our own with the kids, so. Uh, we went to Aaron Lewis last night. That was fantastic. Just me and her and all the other people, but it was just me and her. So, y'all take care of yourself. Like I said, give me a comment. See what you think. You want me to take old Javi on Power Tour, maybe video the whole thing? I might do it. But, uh, peace out. Take care of yourself. We'll see you on the next one. This is my USA Fender Stratocaster. Pretty, ain't it? Yeah, I like a little bit of chrome, even though I don't do a lot of cars with it. Just, I don't care. It's funny. you have a problem with one of these this US Fender it's kind of similar to a car you buy a Chevy, a Ford uh, you know, Buick doesn't matter, Dodge if it has a problem or it's sick and has a recall call them and they're going to have the test to fix the problem that they caused. Now, I've never had any trouble with this, by the way. This thing is just gorgeous and beautiful. It plays like a dream. Even though I'm a drummer, I do play guitar. This is one of six or seven I own. I have a couple of dime bag guitars but, and a couple other U.S. Fenders, but this one's my favorite. So, if it messes up and it has a recall on it, obviously I would call the manufacturer where it was, which is USA. It's funny, as I go to a local convenience store on my way to my son's uh, roller skating date with his Cub Scout crew, they had COVID-19 tests sitting on the counter at the convenience store. And I'm all about it, you know. I've had it twice. I beat it with a leave and, you know, Dayquil. And just keep moving, man. Like I said, keep moving. But, anywho, I opened that, looked at test, I picked it up and I looked at it. I guarantee you can't call where it was made. But I guess it's kind of like a Chevy Ford or anything else. You call where it was manufactured to get the test. Make sure you get it fixed. Way to go, Brandon. Anywho. started the other video because I, I really didn't have anything I was working on. I did work on a lot today. I had to, I had to get my semi fixed. Uh, I had no heat. It's cold. It's Illinois. It was really cold. And 
few other little things I had to fix on it. I did that, and somebody said, you should make a video of you working on your truck. And I said, no, I'm not happy working on my truck because I'm not going to make a video working on my work. <laughs> that makes sense. But uh, I had an interesting thing happen to me today. Uh, I'll get to some other stuff. I know I'm not working on anything right now, and that's boring to some of you. I get it. You know what? I I hate it too. But uh, I promise you, there's a lot of stuff coming. Um, I had to go pick up uh, these things right here. This is for the transmission. That's the seal and the filter kit. And I got the other seal over there. But I had them ordered from my local O'Reilly's. I went in there to pick them up. And while I was out, I was gonna pick up a couple, you know, parts for my semi. I'm standing at the counter, and a blast from my childhood past walks through the door. I had haven't seen this guy in years, and it was like being a kid all over again. This car guy stuff, you know what I mean? And I'm standing at the counter. And here comes this man that I just adored and loved when I was a child. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you his name because he he is just an absolute just a blessing that I knew him as a child especially because <clears throat> I've I've talked on here before that I've said that I grew up in a parts store. The name of the parts store is Dustin Sons Auto Supplies, DNS Leasing, it's right here in Effingham, Illinois. My dad worked there 45, 50 years, whatever it might be. My dad was known as Dustin Son John. He'd walk in the door and he'd have two phones going on his ear and yep, 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 and he could go run. He was just a fast talking little Irish man, you know. And again, I miss him dearly, but to get on with the story. When I was a kid, I grew up at this parts store and I'd be in there even as a little kid like six seven eight nine years old and uh, you'd hear this rumble outside and I couldn't wait I'd run out the door and there he was <clears throat> and there it was this nice gentleman's name is Ron Ragsdale I've known this guy my entire life and he owned a real, original, 1969 Boss 429, white with the stripes, 429, big block Ford. You know, the 429 Boss with the big heads, the aluminum heads, the whole nine yards. Four speed, just gorgeous. God, it was such a gorgeous car. I loved it, and I was just a little kid, but I was a motorhead, you know, so I'm like, oh my God, that's a boss mustang every time and no matter what i'd run out the door and i'd say how's she running ron she said oh she's running good you know and uh this car was the epitome of what i say when i say i hate trailer queens and garage ornaments, okay? 69 Boss 429. When he bought it, it had 20,000 miles on it. Later on, when he sold it, it had over 200,000 miles. Ron drove that car daily. Rain, snow, didn't matter. You saw that 429 on the road and he took a, just immaculate care of this car. But he drove it. And everything about me when it comes to that sense comes from Ron Ragsdale. When you see a car worth as much as it was, he didn't care. He said, I didn't get it keep it in the garage I got it to drive it and people would give him hell what are you doing driving that car every day 
And his answer was, it's mine. I'm going to drive it. And I, that is the exact same way I am with all my cars. I hate trailer queens. I hate garage ornaments. And anyway, there was two here in town. One was Sperry's, and it was a blue 429. Ron's was white. This one's blue. Which, by the way, when Sperry, when this other guy decided to sell it, Ron bought it. And he drove it after he had already sold the white 429 to a uh, place in Colorado. And anyway, he had this blue one too. Well, anyway, his, his car is in... I believe Connecticut now. A guy uh, went through it again and restored it again, and it's uh, it's in Connecticut. I don't know the whole history of it. I'm sure Ron does because they all keep track. You know, he kept track. But anyway, Ron walked into the O'Reillys today, and we just had the greatest conversation. It was like I was that little kid walking out to that car again, and we just talked and talked and talked. He knew who I was right away. He recognized me even with all this. And uh, it was, I've been a gearhead my whole life. I can't remember my fifth birthday, but I can remember every car I saw that year. That's what this means to me, and the fact that Ron knew who I was, was he knew, he knew my dad. He's just the greatest, one of the best human beings that I've ever had the privilege of knowing in my life. And he, he sat there and we had a long, great conversation, and there was other people walking in and out of, uh, of O'Reilly's that knew me and heard, you know, they were, me and Ron were talking back and forth. Even the O'Reilly's uh, poor lady, she was up there. She couldn't get out of the conversation. She wanted to hear it because me and Ron were spouting just this and this and this and talked about I had a Mustang that was just like his daughter's and we both knew it. We put them next to each other at a, at a show and, and all these kind of things. I mean, it was just a great conversation. And as sick as I've been in the last two weeks, that is something that I needed. I needed that conversation to get me back in the, in, the, in the swing of things. So Ron, if you're watching this, thank you so much for chatting with me. That, you know, taking time out of your day to chat with me. Cause that, that, I miss those old days like that. You know, I think of stuff, a lot of the people that we both knew are, you know, long gone and, uh, you know, there was things he told me today that I, I didn't know. He had a personal conversation relationship with the designer of the 429 Boss and has the actual specs told to him over the phone. He gave him the specs when Ron redid the motor. And then we talked about who built the motor and he is another person from my past that I just grew up at, you know, idolizing locally an engine builder and we got to talking about him and we got talking about where I always talk about Effingham or grinding right here in Effingham, Illinois is the greatest place to have a camshaft uh, laid or a, a, a the crank any you know just this little bitty town of Effingham, Illinois just the people that were in it and you know I'm not saying that we're the best one but to me we are but I'm sure every little town has people like this I, I see it on other channels Vice Grip Garage, Junkyard Digs uh, you know all those they all have their shops well it's great that me and you know me and Ron had this conversation because it reminded me that I'm one of a few around here that still build engines I don't build them for anybody else but Ron asked me, you know, different things, and I showed him my Mustang, which he loved. You know, that that was great. I tried to show him pictures. I I was going to bring my Javelin up, you know, I was going to bring Javi up to do, uh, to go this parts run today, just because my pickup's on the Fritz, but I didn't, and now I wish I would because he would have seen it, you know. He, he loves old cars. Coincidentally, he has, he has a Ford Cobra 
you know the little two-seater thing it just looks fantastic and but I, I wanted to get that out there that remember the people you meet because he had a huge impact on my life young when it comes to cars on his outlook on it and how he didn't care what anybody thought it's his car drive it I decided to take the javelin out tonight. It had a dead battery because it was goddamn cold. But I got it out. I went, did a couple rounds, drove it around, and found out the alternator's going out. Or at least the regulator is, but my stereo first started, you know, and it died out. And I was like, uh oh. And I rev it up and the lights would start going like this. Like, oh shit, it's done. So. I did make it home, and I'm home, but uh, just remember the people that showed you your way when it comes to these cars. Listen to everyone. You may talk to five people and get 15 or 20 different ways or different stories of how this works and how that goes. It don't matter. Take it all in. You know, the, the older hot rodders, man, they're not, not going to be around much longer. And... Uh, you know, the stories that, that my friend could tell are, you know, they need to be told because there ain't gonna be much time left of this. I, I, I just saw, I just heard, I don't watch it, but I just saw we're on Barrett Jackson. I, you know, the people are selling these cars, they're God dang ridiculous, man. A damn blazer for whatever thousands and thousands of dollars. We ain't ever going to be able to afford that. And I talked to somebody that, you know, it was some Facebook site. I don't know. But he was saying stuff like, well, you know, it's because everybody just junked them and didn't know they was going to be worth, and now there ain't that many, so now they're worth this. And I was like, that's BS. I can bring you to at least 25 K5 Blazers, 70s, whatever. I don't know much about them, but I can bring you to them. The problem is the guy that has them or the guys or girls that have them seen that one get sold on Barrett Jackson for a ridiculous amount to some guy who's probably got more money than God himself. You know, if God has money, I don't know. but. You see what I'm saying? So when you go ask him for that car, he's gonna say, oh, 10 grand. For a rust bucket, no fenders, no floors, motor's gone, 10 grand. It's gonna come to that. Be ready for it. You ain't gonna be able to get him no more. And he's gonna say, I saw that thing sell for $150,000, $200,000 on Barrett Jackson, it's worth this, this, and this. No, it ain't. So I say I want to keep it for the little guy. We ain't ever going to be able to afford that nice vehicle. Why the hell would you want it anyway? Exactly what I said, you're going to put it in a damn garage. It's going to sit. Now, I understand if you, you personally, you're Joe Blow off the street making $15 to $20 an hour, and you redo a car, and you sell it for that amount to one of them people, good for you. Because now you can take that money, put your kids through college and all that stuff, because we don't get a handout. We ain't got silver spoons. There, I said it. You see all these other channels on here. They all started from nothing. Yeah, they might have had a background. They might have had this, might have had that. But they all worked for what they got. And some people make, why wouldn't you restore that? Like the story, I... You don't want to come after me with my damn cutlass because people say, why don't you restore that? What's this? What's this? What's this? And I'm like, I don't care. I drive them. I got six of them. Well, I think it's six. I don't remember. But you've seen all my cars if you watch the video. You've seen all of them. I drive them all. Snow, rain, sleet, sunshine. Don't care. I enjoy my cars, and I'm going to plan on them. I'm going to plan on making sure I keep enjoying all my cars. My family's going to enjoy all my cars. I would rather 
put a matching scratch on the hood of that cutlass than be downplayed by somebody who's never touched a car. That angers me. Sit there and tell me I don't know what I'm doing, take it to so-and-so to have it rebuilt. No, I'm not, because that just makes it, I'll be that guy, at, I'll be that guy at the show that's running around the car show with a, instead of enjoying the day and talking to people and all this, constantly freaking scrubbing on this car. Hey, how's it going, man? Oh, it's good. And it's still sitting there scrubbing. No. I pulled that Malibu right up next to a really nice Chevy pickup. The guy was over there for two, three hours just scrubbing on this damn, you know, polishing on this truck. And I pull up in that Malibu, no hood on it, barely got, you know, anything. I pull it right up there and rev her up. Just wop, wop. Right next to me is one of my best friends that's been around for years around me. I've known him since I was a child in a 69 Cadillac, uh, whatever, I, I don't know what they call them, but it's basically a limo. Great big ass car, it's dirty, smokes, leaks oil, we didn't care. We pulled them right up next to each other. I had just got that Malibu done, no hood on it, just pulled it up in there. You should have seen these people at this car show looking at us like, what the hell are these cars doing here? And let me tell you something. It was a great big thing in a little town south of here, great big festival they have every year. Guess whose cars got circled around more than anybody else? That Malibu and a Cadillac. Everybody's seen a shiny car. And I know I'm rambling on, I'm probably gonna piss some people off. I don't care. That experience that I had with my old friend Ron today really just solidified my feelings towards it. 69 Boss 429 Mustang, one of the rarest, most expensive cars in the world. Drove it every day to 200 and some thousand miles. You think about that. And he said if he could do it again, he would do it all again. He don't care. Me and him are in agreement on that. It's ours, we're driving. Let them sit in there. There's all kinds of cars around this little area of mine right here in this little county. There's some of them that, you know, they let them sit in their sheds. We got a Mopar guy here that owns so many friggin' Mopars, I lost count. I know the guy, he's a good dude. Uh, some of the rarest Superbirds Daytonas right here in this county. And that's fine. If that's what you want to do, I'm not against you doing it. I just rather see them out driving. You know, I've got other friends around here, they go out every single weekend in their Chevelles and their, you, you name it, they go out and they burn the tires off the son of a gun, man. I mean, that's what I like doing, who cares? We got a burnout pit in my hometown in Teotopolis, Illinois, that they do every year now. We had a guy in a really nice Nova go up there, he burned them tires down so they popped it, ripped a damn fender off the back of it nobody cared he didn't care he come back this year with a huge band-aid stuck on where the fender got beat out greatest thing i've ever seen it was great and i that i'll bet that had the the barrett jackson people that are there like oh my god like that is great great that's that's me if you're expecting me ever to restore a car on this channel, like really restore a car, it ain't gonna happen. Move on to the next one. Just find something over there to watch. I'd rather you watch me because this is gonna be a lot of fun. I'm, I'm more in that lines of, you know, you're, you're, I'm not gonna name drop anymore, but you know the YouTube channels. I don't want, I'm not that kind of person. I don't want to, you know, try to live off of what they're doing. Um, Just drive them, man. Put them on the road and drive them. Keep them for your family. They don't have to be beautiful. They don't have to be perfect. Artemis is never gonna be perfect, but he will absolutely be a head turner. No different than my Cutlass and all these other ones that I see. You know, uh, again, I, I'm doing it, but you know, if you think about something like Vice Grip Garage with Independence Chevelle, with Independence, the Chevelle, it, 
that thing was right down the road from me, you know, a few, about 150 miles away. We didn't know it was there. Hell, I don't know how he found it. But um, that thing was a complete hunk of shit. I'm sure you guys have watched it. If you see my channel, you've watched My Script Garage. I hope you do, because I really like My Script Garage. Not only because Derek's really good at what he does, the family part of it. My favorite episode of all time isn't even Vice Grip Garage. It's Vice Grip Lodge and it's 4th of July. If you ever get a chance, go there and watch the 4th of July episode on Vice Grip Lodge. It's just Derek, Jessica, and the boys just enjoying being together. That's more important than anything, just so we know that. But you should check that out. I really like that. That's my favorite episode of theirs. But, uh, you know, let's just, uh, let's just get them on the road, keep them to ourselves. They don't have to be perfect. I mean, if you want to restore something and go sell it and make thousands and thousands of dollars, that's great. I, I don't have a problem with it. I just know that I'm getting sick and tired of people looking down on people like me and the junkyard digs and vice grip. Some of the stuff they just got sitting in their yard just... You know, but they drive them, they use them. I've been sick and tired and told them that I'm wasting that car. I am not wasting that car. And that is what Ron, visiting with my friend Ron Ragsdale, reminded me of today. And I really didn't have anything to put on here uh, to add to my other video, but... I just loved, I, I felt great it really pushed me over a little hump to talk to him today he's in his 80s and he's still kicking still loves cars still knows everything about these cars and uh that's what's about find your old timer and talk to him you know uh, other than that I got to repaint the Artemis heart. Uh, I got a new water pump coming. Uh, water pump be here this week, and I got uh, the thermostat. I did get all the bearings in there, and they went in perfect. The crank cleaned up perfectly. There wasn't anything wrong. I'm thinking I had a bad set of bearings and or a bad torque wrench believe it or not. Uh, torque wrench wouldn't pop on 20, on the intervals of 20 pounds going up to uh, one, I think it was 95 on the mains, 120 on the rear main, and then all the rods are 45 and I do them in 20, 20 pound increments, you know, do the, the sequence and it wouldn't pop off at 20. And it just kept going, kept going. And finally I put them up to about 45 and I went and it still wasn't like a pop. Like, uh oh. So I went and got me a new uh, torque wrench and went through and popped them all on. Good. Rear main seal went in great. Got the nile covers. I bought a carburetor for this motor, a pro form. I've talked about it. Well, guess what? I bought it on Facebook Marketplace. And the guy screwed me over. He took my money and didn't send it. I reported it. I did everything. Of course, it was through Cash App, so, you know, I'm screwed. But it's assholes like that that make me want to hop a plane, go to New York, and just make sure that I get my money back. But that's a whole other story. But anyway, that's all right. I'm not going to let some bad apple screw up everything that I'm doing to hell with him but uh um, yeah she's all ready to go like I said I got the I got the oil seals and wicks don't use cheap stuff this is a transmission filter kit get that water pump on there and all that and I think I still might start this motor again just to double check everything because I did go through the oil pump and I went through all that stuff again. Made sure it was good and set and straight. Uh, 
Everything looked good underneath, though. It, it looked real good. Once I got that, uh, I just polished the crank with some emery cloth there, mechanic tape, I call it. Yeah. I'm actually starting to run out of heat. I uh, went to a roller skating rink for Zeppelin's Cub Scouts. No, no, I didn't put roller skates on. This guy don't do that. Busted my ass when I was eight years old. That was done. But uh, I forgot I left the heat on in the garage, so I'm about out of I'm about out of heat. So you know what? I just I I. It was just an eye-opening experience for me to talk to my old friend Ron Ragsdale today. And I miss those conversations with people that are just like me. That just, just want to have fun with them. If you've got the money and the time to restore something totally, that's great. I got nothing against it, but drive it. Don't let it sit. Why would you put all that money and time into something to just go, sure is pretty, and then go drive your old piece of crap pickup? I can't do it. I can't do it. Sorry, that ain't me. But uh, I do have some videos coming up. I got a bunch of stuff that I'm gonna do to the uh, to Javi out there. She needs a lot of work. Obviously, I took it for a ride today. I was like, oh, hey, that, 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 that don't sound good. And it didn't, it sounded horrible. But she ran good, motor was great. Um, I got that and I'm gonna do some more with Artemis and like I said, Cutlass, we're gonna get a tunnel ram on it. I got, I got a lot of stuff to do around here. But I'm just I'm just now getting back to my feeling where I'm, I'm feeling okay. The COVID's no joke, man. No, it's nothing to joke about, but it can be beat. If you do it right, I, I think you, just need to be cared for by your doctor don't I'm no doctor but I'm telling you laying around ain't gonna help I, I mean obviously go to your doctor I'm not telling you not to just just make sure you're strong-minded about it it's not the end because it is nasty I the first time I had it it was okay the second time it, it was flu but it wasn't I don't it, it's not the flu so just be careful, take care of yourself, consult with your with your physician. I'm not giving you any advice because, you know, I we're always wrong. Everybody's wrong, but I really wish my tests were made here. I'd feel a little more comfortable with that. But anyway, I'll uh soon. I'll put out a video soon, I promise. Uh Please like this video. If you like it, cuss at it. Tell me to piss off in the comments. I, I don't care. Please, I'll, I'll, I'll try to get to you as soon as I can. Discuss anything you want. Um, I would like to make sure that you guys check out some of the some of the ones again that I watch. Obviously, Vice Grip uh, Garage. I also watch his Vice Grip Lodge, Little Grip Garage. I watch all three of them. Uh, I love watching all of them. They, they just seem like the greatest family. I, that's a dynamic that I just absolutely love. And uh, I watch Junkyard Dig, Junkyard Mook. I watch uh, uh, Flying Sparks Garage, uh, Emily and Adam. I, I love that show. They, 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 just the two of them together are just, they're just great. Um, and uh, some of the other one, Dylan McCool, obviously. I watch Dylan McCool. Um, and there's a few others here and there that I watch, locals. And there's another uh, guy here locally, uh, just up the road for me that way. Uh, shenanigans, wrench, repeat. You should guys should check that one out. I've, I've been enjoying watching his videos too. He's got a, he's done the power tour, the long haul, and I think he's getting ready to do it again this year. So he does some pretty cool stuff on his videos too, pretty neat. We're all rednecks around here. That's the pre-warning, but uh, you know, I want you guys all to take care of yourself. Please subscribe to the channel if you see this. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm not really looking to get anything out of this. It's just fun for me to sit and talk to the camera and talk to you as a whole on YouTube. I, otherwise, I'd just be out here staring at the motor, smoking cigarettes, drinking my, you know, my St. Louis barley water. I've had a few of them tonight, but 
That's different. I'm home. I only do that at home. But uh, you guys take care of yourself. Be safe. And uh, please like the video. Turn on your notifications. That way you know when I'm getting stuff like this. And please subscribe to the channel. Uh, you know, I'd like to thank everybody who has already subscribed. They've passed it. You can see me on Instagram. Uh, Irish Outlaw Garage on Instagram and Facebook. i starting to get into doing it. I'm not really all that savvy. So, um, I'll, I'm into this, not into these. These things are just, I, I, you know, I, when I first got it, I was like, what do I do to get it going? Is it like this? And I looked at Amber, I was like, I think it's working like that. And I said, what do I get? A, and it just pops on. And then I found out that I could do it on my phone. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's on my phone. Anyway, you guys all take care of yourself. It's almost February, for God's sakes. We're getting close to spring and summer. That means the Harleys come out, all the hot rods come out. We're just going to have a good old time this year. Still thinking about it. Might do the power tour. I don't know. If I am, Javi's going to need a lot of work. Because that's going to be the one I go. Because it's got air conditioning. Like I said, spoiled. 2022 we don't have to live in the dark ages in the middle ages when you die in a heat I'm not doing it anyway anyway thank you all for the you that have subscribed and liked these videos and shared them and uh, check out the ones that i told you about shenanigans rich repeat good dude got a good crew with him check him out you guys take care of yourself peace That means go away. A beard drink. <laughs> See you.